When it becomes time in a person's life to look ahead at new directions, whether it be a career choice or perhaps moving into retirement, it is important first of all to look back and see where we have been. What are the themes and moments of our lives that have sustained us and given us joy? What has inspired us and helped us to mold our present identity? For Redemptorists today, this exercise in looking back includes reflecting on the lives of Redemptorists who have come before us, especially those who have been recognized as having been particularly good examples of holiness. One such man is Blessed Gennaro Sarnelli. Blessed Gennaro lived during the first half of the 18th century in Naples, Italy, and grew up in a very well-to-do family. He was educated as a lawyer, and by all accounts, he was well on his way to becoming a very successful barrister, following in his father's footsteps. But for Gennaro, having a successful career, earning wealth and prestige, just wasn't enough. In his heart, he felt a call to something different, a path that would lead him away from the law courts, away from high society, and into the hospitals and the streets of Naples, where he would surround himself with the poor, the sick, and those forgotten by the rest of the world. Gennaro became a priest, shortly afterward joined the religious congregation of the Redemptorists, which had just been recently founded by St. Alphonsus Liguri. As a priest and as a Redemptorist, Gennaro discovered the great joy in being able to serve God in the way that his heart had been calling him to. In his words, to live freely in holy liberty. To live freely, according to Gennaro, was not to do just what pleased him, but most of all, to live according to how God was calling him. Gennaro's example of giving up the security and wealth of a high-powered job to become a religious priest is one of courage. It was an example of trust in God, of being able to say that there is much more to life than just the nine-to-five job and the materialism which our culture has to offer. Gennaro's work as a redemptorist was diverse, but he was always most attracted to working with the poor, those who were sick and suffering, with no one to care for them. One of his great works was in helping exploited women to get off the streets of Naples. To this point, prostitution had been seen by people as a necessary evil, Gennaro was one of the first to write about the problem, to raise awareness of the plight of women who had no other recourse. He would sometimes use his own meager finances to give a woman a new lease on life. Blessed Gennaro Sarnelli is an inspiration to Redemptorists today as we look forward to our future of ministry in Canada. He allows us to remember always to place God's call first, to keep the poor and the abandoned of our communities foremost in our minds. But Gennaro's life can inspire all of us. One does not need to be a priest to aspire to holiness, but rather true holiness comes from following the call of God that is found in our hearts. To truly be able to live freely in holy liberty. Through the intercession of Blessed Gennaro Sarnelli, may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.